Sorry, no, I just don't get it. Oh, live honestly. He's a boy, he has a drum, he plays it for the baby. It's not that complicated. Right, but what I don't get is the ox and the lamb. How can they keep time? It makes no sense. It's a Christmas carol. It doesn't have to make sense. Do they seriously not have Christmas in the future? Yeah, of course we do. It's just not... So shrouded in religion. Besides, little drummer boys have nothing to do with Christmas as it is. You're impossible, you are. Come on, Doctor, you're with me, aren't you? Sorry, I have a strict no theological Christmas carol argument before dessert rule. <laughs> I just think he's more interested in the Christmas cracker than us. Well, you have to admit it is fascinating. Doctor, it's a paper hat in a cardboard tube. But they fold it up so nicely, and look! It fits perfectly! I think blue's my colour, don't you think? Oh, come on! Aren't you going to put yours on? Oh, I, I, I don't think... Yes, she is. Can't you, Liv? Yes, of course. There, happy? <laughs> oh, Liv, green really is quite fetching on you. Flattery will get you nowhere, Doctor. Well, that's me told. Gosh, I really should have made a bigger turkey. You two made short work of it. Yes, we really gobbled it up, didn't we? <laughs> <laughs> right, that's it. No more puns for you. I'm banning them. Oh, I thought it was quite good. It was terrible. Oh, Liv, don't be so mean. They really aren't that bad once you... You know, we really should do this more often. I miss this. Too bad it's all gone. What? What did you say? What do you mean? The turkey. It was delicious. Too bad it's all gone, I said. Oh. Oh, yes. Of course. Sorry, I must have misheard you. Is something wrong, Doctor? Wrong? No, no, of course not. It's Christmas. What could possibly be wrong on Christmas? Well, clearly you've never had Christmas with my family. Gosh, what a nightmare. Nightmare? Well, you know... My family wasn't exactly the picture-perfect kind. Father always got far too drunk. Mum fretted over the cooking all day. My brothers were allowed to play all afternoon, while I was always stuck helping her in the kitchen until dinner and cleaning up afterwards. That does sound like a nightmare. Well, it's over now. No more nightmares. Not with us. You need to get out of here. What? I told Helen it sounds like she needed to get out of there. Well, I guess I did in the end, didn't I? I'm here after all. Stuck here with you lot. Us lot? I don't know if we should be insulted. What do you think, Doctor? Doctor! Oh, um... I... Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Doctor, are you sure you're alright? Yes, it's just, um... <laughs> it's silly, but I... I don't quite remember how I got here. <laughs> Did you accidentally put some ginger in your eggnog? I told you not to touch the gingerbread, you know. <laughs> I, for one, don't want to deal with a drunk Time Lord on Christmas. <laughs> I don't know. Perhaps I did. Did you forget that too? <laughs> You'll forget everything one day. You'll forget all of us. What's going on? I... Whoa, whoa! It was just a joke. I didn't mean... Something is going on here. What's going on? Why can't I... 
Who would that be? I didn't know we were expecting company. Don't answer it. Why? Who is it? I... I don't know. Then why can't I answer it? I... I... I don't... It could be important, you know. If you don't know who it is, we should find out, shouldn't we? No! Please, live. I... I don't know why, but I don't want... We can't open the door. You have to trust me, please. Doctor, I... Presents! I nearly forgot. We have presents to open, don't we? Yes, but... I got you both something. Come! Don't you want to open them? But shouldn't we... Helen, don't you want your gifts? Oh, uh, well, I, I suppose so. Good, good, good. Here, here. Sit next to me. Come on, Liv. Don't be left behind. Just this once, Liv. Please listen to me. Thank you. Now, Helen first. Oh, Doctor, the binding's gorgeous. The High Felgari Manuscript of Lady Jakar. One of the only pieces of text surviving from the Felgari Empire. I know you've been studying the language. I thought this might help. It's beautiful. High Felgari is utterly unique within the language families in that sector. I can't quite figure out how the agglutinative properties of the... So you like it, then? It's wonderful, Doctor. Oh, you next, Liv. Come, come. Oh, Doctor, I really don't... Here you go! There's no getting out of this, is there? Oh. Do you like them? Buster Keaton? The whole collection. I have an old projector in the library. Well, I say old. I mean it was old. Before I tried to fix it and... Well, long story short, it may have just a tad more holographic projection capabilities than it did before. But I assure you, it's still vintage. You can... Or we can, if you like, watch them on there and... Thank you, Doctor. This is a really nice gift. I, I don't know how... I'm happy to. Well, we got you a present too. You both pitched in. Oh, I hope it's fuzzy socks. What is... A recording device of some kind? Maybe I'll just give you this interocity gizmo thing and you can play back this message. And then you'll look all pompous and say something like, Well, what if I don't want you to travel with me anymore, Lucy? Lucy? What? What is this? Where did you get... I... I don't... Whoa, Doctor! Tell me what's going on! I don't understand! What do you want? You just need to calm down, Doctor. You need to wake up. Something's wrong. Something's terribly, terribly wrong. But why can't I... Why can't I remember? It's for me. It's coming for me. I don't want to. That's not... You shouldn't be here. Hello, Doctor. This can't be right. How can there be two of you? There isn't. There's just me. You shouldn't be here. And where is here, exactly? My TARDIS. My home. It was, once. Once it was just like this. The warmth, the friends, the comfort. I wish... I wish I could tell you that it still is like that. But you know that's not true, don't you, Doctor? It's all gone. I don't... I don't understand. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not real, Doctor. None of this. <laughs> Do you really think I'm going to fall for that? Do you think you're the first to, to try and torment me like this? No. If anything is a trick here, it is you. Now get out of my home. Let me be at peace with my friends. They're gone. No. They're gone, Doctor. Stop it. Liv and Helen, they... They were a beautiful part of your life, but that part is over. You're lying. I wish... I wish I was. Please, just listen to what I have to tell. Get out! How did you get here? What do you mean? I mean, how did you get into this scenario? The gifts, the food, who prepared it? Who put up the decorations? What were you doing an hour ago? A day ago? I... I can tell you. Do you remember Pyron? We landed there, a beautiful world. 
The creatures that populate the vast jungle-like floodplains are unlike any other beings in the universe. Not because they are special, I suppose. In the grand scheme of things, they aren't. But simply because they are of Pyron. I... I don't understand. And the people of Pyron. Do you remember them? You must. They're not very important either. The Time Lords certainly wouldn't think so. Perhaps that's why they planted a time bomb there. The Time Lords? They wouldn't have. It couldn't have been them. It could have been the Daleks, I suppose, but these days it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know what you're talking about. What, what does any of this have to do with anything? Because that time bomb is how you ended up in this room. No. Diffusing a time bomb can be quite tricky, I think you'll agree. By its very nature, the weapon burrows itself into all the potential pasts and futures of the planet, infecting everything it touches. And then, it unravels all of time around it until everything that once was or ever could be falls into dust. A truly tragic non-fate for a planet, a people to face. Why are you telling me this? I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. Let me tell you something else you already know. That highly sensitive weapons of mass destruction are often booby-trapped. After all, you don't want anything to go wrong with your demolition test, do you? And if you are a clever little Time Lord scientist or a sharp little Dalek strategist, you may realize that the best way to repel a would-be diffuser would be to attack their mind, cage them in their own thoughts. You're lying! And what makes a better cage than one that the prisoner doesn't want to escape from? A wonderful fantasy of times long past, of celebration and family. I don't believe you. This is real. This is where I belong. Where you belong is in the real world. You belong where you, where we, can do the most good. And that isn't here. You know that. My friends, my family, are not a fantasy. Doctor. No! No, Liv. He's wrong. He's lying. He wants to take you away from me. I won't let that happen. I... I can't let that happen. How many people? What? How many people are on Pyron? None. The, there's no one there because it doesn't exist. If, if anything is a fantasy, it's what he is telling you. Are you absolutely sure of that, Doctor? Because if there is a chance that a single person is in danger, then I think you know what you must do. I don't want to go back out there. We must. I'm sorry. Why can't I just be with my friends, my family, for once? Because without us there will be no more friends or family. No more warmth. No more feasts or celebrations or gifts. Not for the Pyrons. Not ever again. Why must it always be me? It is who we are. And who are you? The Ox. And me? The lamb. It hurts out there, Liv. It hurts without you and Helen. I know. I will carry you with me. I won't ever let the warmth fade. You. Both of you are a part of me. We know, Doctor. We know. Even out there, in that dark, broken universe, I will never let you fade. We have to go. Yes. Once more unto the breach. The Ox and the Lamb Written by Taya Van Dyke. Starring Brian Corrigan as the Eighth Doctor, Louise Wittet as Livchenka, and The Oncoming Rainbow as Helen Sinclair. The Ox and the Lamb was produced by Flame of Terrasan, Taya Van Dyke, and Kellogg. Edited by Taya Van Dyke. With cover art by Flame of Terrasan and Kellogg. Illustrations by Kellogg. And title theme by Sheryl. The Ox and the Lamb and the Winter Solstice Anthology was a Spectral Horizons production. <laughs>